how to add color swatches on your product page for the free Shopify themes like Dawn, whether it's these simple color swatches, but also with two or three colors per swatch, patterns using custom images, or with variant images, or the option names of your choice such as color, material, fabric, or all of them, and with different shapes you can choose from. All it takes to get all these features on your free theme is to copy-paste some code snippets. Let's get into it. So I'm going to use the Dawn theme, but know that this tutorial is also compatible with all the free 2.0 themes like Spotlight, Refresh, Craft, Sense, and so on. But it's not compatible with the premium themes. And the first thing we need to do before making any code edits is to make a copy of our theme. So to do that, let's click on this button and click on duplicate. It's always good to have a backup. And once our theme copy is ready, I'm going to click on this button and click on edit code. We need to copy paste some code snippets using this code editor. You can find all the code that we're going to use in this tutorial in the first link of the description of the video. Once you click on it, you're going to land on this page with these three code snippets. And for each code snippet, we have the title of the file concerned above it. Go back to the first code snippet. We have this button here where we can copy the code. And the file concern here is settings underscore schema. So let's go back to the code editor and search for settings. And here we have settings underscore schema. So this is the right file. And here, click after the comma in line number nine and press enter and press control V to paste the code that you've copied. Then save your changes. Let's move to the second code snippet now. Let's scroll down here until we see the product variant picker and click copy. Then go back to the code editor and search for the file by typing, for example, variant. And then click on the product variant picker here. And scroll down until you see this field set element from line 25 to line 28 and delete it and paste our code snippet. Then click save. Next is the third and last code snippet, which is color option. I'm just going to click on the copy button again, go back to the code editor. And this time, instead of searching for the file, I'm going to create a new code snippet. Inside the snippets folder, we have this button, add a new code snippet. So I'm just gonna click on it. Click here and type color hyphen option and click done. Then click anywhere here and press control V to paste the code. Then click save. All right, so we finished installing the code snippets. So the next step is to adapt the color swatches to our products. So to do that, click on this button and click on customize theme to open the customizer. Let's navigate to the product page. So to do that, we click on this drop down at the top, products, and click on any product template. One thing we need to double check before moving on is that the variant picker is set to pills instead of drop down. So to see that, you just need to click on variant picker inside the product information section and make sure pills is selected. So the products that we are previewing doesn't have a color option. Let's change to another product. So we can click on this change button and I'll select this women's t-shirt since it has a color option. We can already see the color swatches for this product. If you can't see them yet, don't worry. I'll show you how to adapt the color swatch settings to your products. And we also have a color missing, which is green. We're going to fix that later as well. We can access the swatch settings in the general theme settings by clicking on this gear icon on the left. And you should have a new category called color swatches. Let's give it a click. And we have a lot of settings here. Let's go over them and see what each one does. First, we have the swatch option name. This is where you enter the variant option that will have color swatches. The name has to be an exact match. So for example, if you're from the UK, you probably want to adjust the spelling like this. For me, it's just the US spelling. And another important thing is to make sure that the capitalization is the same. For me, it's color with a capital C. If I change it to a lowercase c, the color swatches won't be displayed anymore. So let's go back to capital C. You can also add multiple values separated by commas. Let's say you want to show the color swatches for the fabric and material options as well. So to do that, you just type comma, material, comma, fabric. And if you have a multilingual store, you can also add color options in other languages like this example below. Next is the swatch type. You can choose between a color swatch or a variant image. The image that will be used on the swatch is the featured image that you can add to each variant on your product settings. And here's what it looks like. 
let's stick with the color type for now. Let's move to the color settings. As you can see, we already have some default values to get started quickly. The way this field works is really simple. Let me show you by setting the green color swatch. So first we click in the field here and press enter. So to create a new line and then enter the value of our option. For me, it's green with a capital G, then type colon and then add the color code. And now we can see the green color swatch. We can also add two or three colors for a single swatch. Let's take this sweater as an example. The value of the color here is gray red. So I'm just going to click on the field and type gray red and then paste the two colors that I want for the swatch next to each other like this. It's the exact same process again if I want to have three color swatches for these swatches here. So I'm just going to click in the field here and type the value name, colon. And instead of having two colors, I'm going to add three colors. And here's what it looks like. So I'm just going to paste the rules for the other values. And we have swatches with multiple colors for this product. Another feature available is to use custom images instead of color codes for the swatches. Let's use this product for this example. So I have two options, a color option with two colors and a material option with two values. First, to show the color swatches for the material option, I need to add it here with the option names. So I need to type comma, material, and then I will be able to see the color swatches here. Next, I need to upload the custom images to my store. So you can click this link here. It's going to take you to this page where you can upload your images. So you can click on this button and choose your images and make sure to adapt the title of the file to the value of the option. So capital letters become lowercase and spaces are replaced with hyphens. So select your images and add them. After we upload our images, we can go back to the theme settings and add new rules for our color swatches. So I'm going to just press enter here and paste the rules. So as usual, we have the value name, colon, and then we have the title of the file and we have the extension of the file. .jpg, .png, depending on the image file. And here we have the custom images showing instead of color swatches. Let's move to the next setting, which is swatch style. So you can choose between four styles. We have the round one that you're currently seeing. Then we have the square one and square with round corners. And finally, the portrait style. But the portrait style is only available for the variant image type. So let's take a look. So if I select variant image, now we have the variant images in portrait style. Next is swatch size, where you can control the size of the swatch. So you can increase it like this, for example. And finally, we have this checkbox for dark backgrounds. It will improve the appearance of the swatch if you are using a black background like the one present in the right theme. Once you've finished setting up your color swatches, you can publish your theme copy. And since you have a product with multiple colors, this video may be useful to you. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.